guy. I'm a guy. All right. What's up, Christian? Uh, what are we doing today, bud? We're watching a movie called... Ghostbusters. <laughs> Number two. two. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. When's the last time you saw this? Like 20 years ago. Maybe? But you sounded like you watched this quite a bit. Yeah, probably every week. Oh my god, really? <laughs> no, uh, no, it's been a long time. Okay, cool. Uh, dude, it's been like 15 years since I've seen this. I kind of remember this not being that great. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just remember this being not good. I think it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to the Carpathian stud, Vigo. Because yeah. it's been a while, you know? Yeah, it's a, got a good painting anyway. He does. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, all right, man. Well, uh, let's fucking, let's do this. I'd love Although, to. you know what? I feel like we need uh, we need a little, uh, a little beverage first. Oh! You, you okay with that? I do. All right, I love cool. It. That guy's weird. Uh, Strange fella. <laughs> seen better. Uh, two slimers, buddy. Cheers. Yeah. Also, why is mine half the size of yours? Uh, <laughs> I think you peed in mine. Uh -huh. Oh. Once it hits your lips. Oh, that's not bad. I love getting slimed. It begins. Slime me. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. So, uh, let's go through the cast list real fast here. Bill Murray, love him. Uh, Peter Venkman. Um, yeah. So, hey, bud, did you ever watch the uh, the real Ghostbusters cartoon? Yeah, it's great. Uh, so you know who played him in the cartoon? Isn't it the Garfield? Yeah, dude. And then later he played the voice of Garfield. Dude, everything this comes is why together. you're on the freaking podcast. Everything comes together. Uh, Lorenzo Music, yes. Yes. Um, and then we got Dan Aykroyd, which, uh, of course, Crystal Skull Vodka. Love him. Hey, Daniel, thank you so much for supporting us with the Crystal Skull Vodka. He actually didn't, but we're trying to get him to sponsor us, so we'll did see you. Ya. Did you call him Daniel? Yeah, well, we're at a, we're at a first name basis. <laughs> Fantastic. But he, he said don't use Dan. Uh, did he really? Uh, okay. Uh, we got Sigourney Weaver. Uh, Alien fame, yes, as everyone dude. knows. Uh, when's the last time you watched Aliens? Fun. Like, recently, actually. It is so effing good. And look forward to the new uh, Alien Covenant coming out. You oh, hear Covenant about this? Covenant 2? No. No, it's going to be basically, like, set. It's a new one. I think it's coming out on Hulu. Okay. It looks great. Is it a series? No, it's like an actual, like, a new movie. Okay. Hopefully uh, they can tie together those Prometheus movies. <laughs> yeah, because those are a little bit of a mess. They were cool to look at, but they were a little bit of a mess. I know. Agreed. Uh, Harold Ramis. Oh, have to R. love R. that guy. Pour some Slimer out for you. Uh, can I say Egon's my favorite Ghostbuster? Yeah, he is great. Uh, I like how they made him look, like, so much cooler in the, the Ghostbusters cartoon, too. Mm -hmm. Like, he was, like, like, like a more handsome man and like more svelte uh with like a white swirl yeah. <laughs> it was crazy it was a it was a clark kent swirl on steroids <laughs> boy i guess <laughs> so um but that's actually funny that you say that because we're coming up to annie potts also oh uh, she's great so uh, janine um but they actually made her look more like the cartoon in this movie because the cartoon was so successful in so 86 she, right uh 89 so she doesn't look a whole lot like she did in 84 was she design. a voice actress at all because i feel like she has like, a really good voice uh she totally does yeah. i don't know if she's been in anything um but she should have i know she should have played janine on the show I know. and she didn't although that voice actress was pretty darn good Rick Moranis, oh, yeah, dude. The kids, love, love this him. guy. I wish like he just stepped away from Hollywood, just living the life. Good for but him. He's so man. like growing up, that guy was definitely a memory. You know what I mean? Like all core memories of like movies. Yeah. It's always like like Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Like he's the guy, you know? Honey, I blew up the kids. Yeah. Uh, Which honey, could be I a problem nowadays in today's, uh, uh, you know, atmosphere yeah, and environment. Yeah, you don't want to do that name. any kind of blowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and our boy, Ernie. Dude, I, how can you not love this guy? Yeah, Ernie Hudson's great. He reprises his role in the new ones as well. I love this town. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, that guy, uh, fucking fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Look at Peter McNichol. Look at that. Good old Jim. Nailed, nailed it on the first try. Good job. Remember him in the first one? Uh, no. 
What was he in the first one? <laughs> I don't know. I thought he, he was, was, he was one of Gozer's one. like no. go to. No, oh, the menus. Uh, Remember, like, like they get on like little menus. bike. Oh, it's not him. All right. It's okay. We can cut out all this. It never happened. It never happened. Uh, never. Oh, you got the mayor again. This guy fucking sucked the first time. And then Kurt Fuller. I remember this guy from Wayne's World. Oh, uh, he's, yeah, he was great. He's a slimy motherfucker. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that might, oh, obviously Vigo. Vigo. That forehead is powerful. Wilhelm von Ulmer. Listen, I can't see the rest. Uh, yeah, why would you? Why would you ever <laughs> so, want to? Uh, well, one of those guys. What were you saying he, uh, like, was a uh, dick so, on the set? So I was, yeah, looking at some, like, tidbits, and basically it says that he did not know that his voice was getting, vo like, voiced over, so he did all his parts, and then... He goes to the premiere and it's some other guy just because his real voice is probably like, hey guys, what are you doing? Found out at the this? premiere? Yep. And they oh. made him sound just, yo. Man, you I got... am a copy team. I mean, it was pretty good. I mean, they did a good job. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you got David Proust. Proust. Uh, he got Proust. <laughs> uh, I think that might be everyone. That oh, I you know. cannot forget Mordecai Lawner. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy. Man, the ticket. I that's mean, the man. Best role ever. And then look at, uh, looks like uh, you have a, a fake John Krasinski from The Office. <laughs> Good old. <laughs> from Stone Boy. Stone Boy Not two. number one. Who is actually, it looks like it's. Number two. It's um, his son who's doing the new the new movie. Son of a bitch. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fucking Jason Reitman. Jason Reitman looks just like John Krasinski. Uh, you he, guys should do an office he actually movie looks, together. If uh, John that Krasinski picture. had a kid with Ivan Reitman. That's true. <laughs> it would be Jason Reitman. Yeah. So he's a little punk kid that does a little cameo yeah, in the like, beginning. Yeah, yeah, they're not whatever. Yeah, he's, uh, he's And then little... his daughter's in it too. What? Yeah, she's um she's uh has the like like in the the office or something with like the puppy dog? Okay. It's in her lab. I don't know where she is. Are you sure? Oh, she's right there. Ga uh, Catherine Reitman. If you go up right there, Get, girl uh, with puppy. Girl with the puppy. Sure enough. And then uh, I forgot Bobby Brown. He's a doorman. There he is, dude. This song was fucking nuts. I remember this song being bigger than the movie. This is a big, this is a big song. I, it was a fucking good song. I mean, it was no Ray Parker Jr. Uh, for the first one, but is that uh, fucking Cheech? Shut up! It is. Cheech is the Cheech is not the supervisor. Okay. What a movie! Brian what Doyle Murray, Bill film. Murray's brother. Oh yeah, he's in like he's in always that guy. A lot of Adam ben Sandler Stein's movies. Money? Dude, there's so many people in this. Uh, and what's his name? Philip ba uh, Baker Hall, who's that, always in Seinfeld. So awesome. Later I in uh, Curb Enthusiasm. Curb is so funny, dude. This season, final season, it pretty, is pretty so damn good. funny, dude. I love uh, like Larry and Leon together. Transformers dad, Kevin Dunn. Oh yeah. Um, he's also in Veep, which was on HBO mm -hmm. also. That was one of the funniest fucking shows ever. Didn't that start was... off that great. Holy shit, that was one of the funniest That things. was actually really with Julia. Uh, yeah, yeah dude, exactly. she's so talented, yeah, it's so good. Great. Another Seinfeld Elaine. callback, yeah. There's a lot of Seinfeld. Yeah. Probably in most things. Actually, you know what's insane is uh, there's a whole Max von Sydow voiced uh, Vigo. Dude. Holy shit, that's who did it. Okay. Well, we're learning a lot on this podcast. Wow. <laughs> um, and then Ivan Reitman, man walking outside. Oh, this very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what Alfred Hitchcocky in uh, cameo there? That's yeah. great. Man walking outside a firehouse, uh, fucking fantastic. But no shit, dude. Um, there's been a lot of uh, Die Hard uh, fucking crossover because in the original uh, Ghostbusters 1984, Reginald Bell Johnson is in there. Uh, so dude, playing. There's another great. Four, his fourth cop ever. Like, but he's in uh, Ghostbusters one also. He's, uh, it's when they're locked up. He like comes and he's like, ah, you guys did bail or some horse shit. Damn. Uh, but he's a cop. And, and he was a cop in Urkel. Yeah. Good old family. You yeah. Know? No, it, you got it right. It was Urkel. Yeah. Good old That's Urkel. what it was called. Yeah. It was, the show. It was called <laughs> Urkel. Urkel matters. Yeah. Did I do that? Oh, and then he becomes like cool and he's Stefan Urkel. Oh yeah. Urkel. Dude, uh, I would still watch that show. That fucking so every, good. every TGIF. Uh, it's Friday no, night. Ain't no shame in my in game. In the mood, <laughs> right. Probably sing along with it too. Yeah. But uh, no shit. Uh, Vigo was one of the henchmen in uh, Die Hard. Mayor Lenny remembers. I was up until two a.m. talking to oh. whatever. Yeah. And then, and then the the uh, Titanic comes. It finally makes <laughs> its voyage, completes its voyage to New York. Actually, 
wait a second, are you talking about this movie? Is it in this one? Because there's one where it they say it's the pier, and it was the original pier that the Titanic, the Titanic was supposed wait, to dock they, You're right, it is this one. Yeah. I think yeah. it is this one. And that's when he says that line. Yeah, that guy sucks. Yeah, because uh, I don't know, the bishop comes in the first one, he's like, eh, I don't know what's happening, you gotta help me <laughs> oh, out here, yeah. bishop. And he's like, I think it's a sign from God, because Who they always the think it's a sign from God. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but he's good as I'm on a mission from Gad. <laughs> Maybe that's in the future. Mm -hmm. Good well, Dan. The original one, man. Uh, Thank well, you again, actually, Crystal. Uh, Crystal Skull Vodka. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crystal Skull Vodka. Yeah. This will get me a ghost blowjob <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a California vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Made from the finest potatoes. <laughs> All right, man. You ready to watch this shit? I'm so excited. Let's fucking do it. Hey, Christian. You look like you've got something to say. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Um, all right, let's move. <laughs> all righty. Well, uh, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh, Brett uh, from Michigan, I'm glad that you're here to discuss this movie with me. I'm glad as well. It's unfortunate that the bartender and the other guy died on their way to the home planet <laughs> and we're never gonna see them again ever. It is unfortunate. <laughs> Correct. I'm just hearing about that right now. So. <laughs> yeah, so. Really sprung that on me. No how to react. No time to grieve. <laughs> Anywho, we watched. I didn't know him, so. <laughs> <laughs> we watched Ghostbusters 2 uh, from 1989. Ivan Reitman directed a uh, film. He directed the first one. You kind of expected a repeat of the magic because uh, it had the original cast in it still, even down to Annie Potts, Janine, who's one of my favorites. Yeah. Absolutely love her. And uh, right what, what happened? Honestly, this wasn't a good movie. This wasn't a bad movie. It was just kind of. Yeah, it was what you expect, you know, you want a sequel, it's not going to blow away the first, it's never going to happen, but it was like, oh, I like revisiting these characters in a funny way. Introduce you to Terminator 2 then. Oh, Terminator 2, great Or Spider-Man 2 or X-Men 2 or, there yeah. are a couple sequels that really overpower the original, e even though the original... X-Men 2? I don't remember... Yeah, it's, no, pre it's a pretty good one, it and of is. course it's Wolverine's good. in there, yeah. um, but... Uh, I'm not saying this was the 100% uh, reason that it sucked, but the <laughs> film score was definitely not up to par. It oh, was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a all over the place. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, I don't remember 1989. <sighs> it was probably the songs that were, they were like, let's do these five songs. They're close. Everyone knows these songs. We'll fit them in somehow. Well, I'll say the film soundtrack is pretty good. There's a Run DMC joint on there. Uh, there's, oh, yeah, uh, they're good songs. They're just... Ray Parker Jr. is still back on there for some nostalgia. Five years later, this happens five years later. But again, the the star it's of the to soundtrack... Be five years later? Allegedly, Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, that's the hard cut... Really? Uh, ...to the start of the movie. I remember you were probably... I don't remember them mentioning it in the movie at all, timeline-wise, how they, long it's been since the last movie. They said that... They good. don't. That's literally half the first thing in the movie. Is it? It oh. says five years later. Oh. Uh, all right. I, I guess we got to cut sleeping. and watch this again. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, five years later, which time-wise uh, checks out from first one to the 84. No, yeah, 84 to 89. 89, I'm, there you I'm go. Just, but. It seems like, no, I guess that's fine because they moved on. Bankman's doing his show. That's five years. You know, that's that makes sense. It is. Uh, it, it is I'm actually kind of funny. I'm surprised I missed that because I feel like I'm usually very <laughs> this keen guy on the details. Never, uh, <laughs> never misses a thing. Never. Um, so <laughs> your pants are on backwards. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I like it like that. It's good. It's a crisscross uh, thing for the '80s, '90s. It's a statement. Um, so, uh, but I will say this. For Ice cubes are the best. 
Um, I will say this for the soundtrack, and I will, will not talk about the soundtrack probably, but that Bobby Brown song, I just remember that being so freaking big. Like, uh, him and his, again, Gumby haircut with the... Yeah, and he's in. You said he was in there. He's in the little cameo, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, he's asking that, that was awesome. Proton Pack for his... Uh, <laughs> I, Nephew? Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not a kid's toy. But yeah, uh, so yes, it starts five years later. For those sort of that are paying attention. <laughs> and uh, the very first moment of the movie. <laughs> I just, attention span, I can't keep track of that. That's way okay. too into the movie to figure that out. That's fine. Uh, that's why you got me here, too. Because between the two of us, we can watch most of it <laughs> together. So, uh, I, I assumed it was some time past. Five years ago. <laughs> it's not sure. concurrent to the first one, <laughs> yes. It's not, mo it's not immediately after Stay Puff Marshmallow. Uh, what do we got? We got, uh, we start off with Sigourney Weaver. Hopefully you remember this part. Uh, she's got the baby carriage. Mm -hmm. It's going down. Baby with unknown father. Uh, yes, he's off in the UK, which we find out later. Wink, UK, who, like, I don't know. Scumbags, all of them over there. I feel there. like maybe they could have added something there by making the baby. Have a British accent? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have sold. It would have sold better. I didn't believe the baby's origins. They're a little at fancier. All. <laughs> His uh, rosy cheeks, not British. I don't know. That's Danish, maybe. maybe. But. Um, I think that would be if she uh, had sex with a cop, right? Because they like donuts so Danish. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's better if I explain the joke that much, and then uh, I got it right away. You did I laughed actually. after you said <laughs> laugh quick. <laughs> you got my Me. eyebrow. Uh, okay, good stuff. Me. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, starts off with her walking down New York City streets. Uh, she's got oh, the baby oh, carriage. Baby carriage. She rolls over some goo. Uh, pink goo. Uh, which turns out it's going to be really important later on. Mm -hmm. uh, the baby carriage goes crazy. It so came from the river, 80 feet higher, just somehow. Yeah, up into the bubbled right up into the pink clay. <laughs> pink clay. It's that color. That's why, I, that's why I purposely touched that. If you didn't notice, I intentionally grabbed the pink clay. <laughs> to emphasize so, my point. Uh, point made. Uh, so yeah. Um, it's, it's good. It's, I mean, coincidentally, impossible, but perfect that she in, was infected. Oh, well, the cart, you know, luckily, I mean, luckily it was just part it, of a wheel. <laughs> so it, it went crazy for a certainly second. Certainly makes the story, you know, feeds the storyline. It, it really gets going. It's, uh, it's, by the way, after the, uh, Crunchy. Hopefully that picks up real good with the crunch. <laughs> um, I will be eating every ice cube in here, so we have to edit that out. <laughs> I'm actually if going. They weren't perfect medical ice cubes. I wouldn't eat them. But I'm going perfect. to a thousand percent increase the volume, two hundred percent of your mic during the crunching. <laughs> it's going to be horrible. So her cart goes crazy, and for some reason, she's like, something weird happened, so I guess I gotta go talk to the Ghostbusters again. Uh, who does she go talk to? She goes talk to Egon. Egon is the smart one. E mm, we might as well get into this. Uh-oh. Egon is <laughs> my favorite. Of He's the best. He absolutely I is. Oh, I but, so, wait, should I take a different point? To no, okay. no, you need to agree with me 100% <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Um, so, uh, and again, controversial take because everyone likes Leonardo, but I like Donatello as a Ninja Turtle. I like Donatello. No, you really like good. Really good. Hey, you're <laughs> the Rick to my Morty. Nope, you're oh. the Morty to my Rick. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and it doesn't help that I'm laughing directly down into my <laughs> mic either. Uh, I'm gonna it's not even decrease on. Decrease even... that by two hundred percent. Actually, did it's I not even. Did on. I turn it on? I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, dude, yeah it's I on. swear it's to God, you're accidentally going to hit the mute button again, which is also the oh, power crap. button. Don't worry about it. Uh, but anyway, Leonardo's the worst turtle. <laughs> it's, it's, he's, he's really not, but like he's not. There's no worse turtle. There's they're really all, they're, they're all fun. They're they're all Ra fun. Ralph's kind of a. I'm, Ra I'm over I, the cynical asshole. Yeah, uh, exactly. I think the whole I'm angry at life. 
I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. As a, a forty something I, a turtle, I get it. He um, wants more. Michelangelo might he's eat fun. too much Easy. of the pizza you all get, but he's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a partier. He, he does a little. He <laughs> he's a partier, so he's fun. Uh, Leonardo's, Leonardo's a good is not, guy. Is not as fun because he's in charge. He's trying to make everyone straight. You know, he, do the right thing. He's also uh, not Leonardo's ever the most fun though. Like yeah, nerd wise. But Leonardo's -wise. obviously never cutting anyone with those katanas either. It he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the face with them or something. He's, he's never slashing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was 80s, 90s. Yeah, and All it was the fun. 80s, 90s kids are old enough now to see murder, murder from <laughs> turtles. <laughs> Turtle murder. <laughs> yeah, no, and they're above You're the law. You're welcome. Whoever's so. making that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and shoot, I mean, honestly, uh, we might as well broach the topic now. Uh, I oh, used to watch uh -oh. the <laughs> porn. <laughs> Still do. Uh, I, uh, I used to watch the uh, real Ghostbusters cartoon because there was an oh, original yeah, Ghostbusters yeah, yeah, yeah. where they had like a, a gorilla or something like that, and it was very weird. It was had nothing to do with the franchise, but the cartoon that they came out with based on this was called the real Ghostbusters because they had to differentiate, and it was very stupid. But um, Slimer was part of the team. Did they have? Real voices, like uh, no actors. Oh, thank you for uh, asking about that. No, we kind of covered this in the cast thing. Uh, Lorenzo Music, which is a guy, uh, <laughs> which sounds is... like a sound <laughs> company. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does. Uh, no, he's the voice of Garfield. Oh, he was the voice. His of... last name's Music. Mm. Yeah, uh, maybe Muzak. I don't know. He's the elevator guy. No. Okay. Um, but um, Egon was definitely my favorite in the cartoon. Cartoon's fantastic. It ran for like five I or six you seasons. I it was not good. We're not going to watch it. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it. I'm just saying. I... Uh, you missed the five years later. It's not surprising that you missed this part also. No, the real Ghostbusters is good. The Ghostbusters is not anything to do with the any Ghostbusters of this. cartoon. Yeah. It's not good. The real, okay, got gotcha, It's gotcha. crazy. And, and they actually had a live action TV series too. And um, so, uh, but yeah, the uh, I, there was one episode of that original animated series. Sorry, we're getting off on the tangent here, but like that I recorded on VHS cassette because my parents back in like 85, 86 had a double VHS oh. transfer like recorder. Like it was so cool. King of the castle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm gonna chase you naked through this house right afterwards, <laughs> and it's a Borat we'll movie again. It. Um, <laughs> that's Patreon extra. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, no kidding, uh, it was crazy because it actually gave me nightmares. And I don't know why I kept watching it, but it was this uh, ghost called the Sandman who would like pull out a bag and blow some dust in your face and you'd fall asleep for 500 years. Time for nappies, everyone! Uh, you'd die after a couple. <laughs> From the malnutrition. Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate your logic. I never even thought of that. <laughs> Seems like 500 years is unrealistic. Magic is clearly sustaining you at that point. Uh, I guess, I guess. Uh, duh. Magic this is the This was in the Ghostbusters? Yes, okay, so check this out. <laughs> so no kidding, he gets three out of the four Ghostbusters immediately. Uh, the only one he doesn't get is Winston. Uh, so Winston's like trying to figure this out. So uh, by the way, I didn't tell you this. Is this racially motivated? Yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> He's like, I can't get the, uh, uh, this is all gonna be cut actually. <laughs> uh, I won't bring that up again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so yeah, he uh, doesn't get Winston. Uh, Winston's trying to figure this out because I didn't tell you this part. Um, he uh, makes you go to sleep, but the dreams you're dreaming come alive. Uh, so it's super cool. So I know, it's so good. No. It, it's the best episode they've ever done. Uh, although it's the only one I ever recorded, so maybe I've got a slight <laughs> bias. Um, but no kidding, check this out. Only he, one I ever watched, but the best one ever. Ever. Uh, the, the only other person besides Winston that he doesn't get is Janine. And he finally kind of gets Janine as he's getting to Winston. Except they got a game plan this time. Because guess who becomes a Ghostbuster? Janine. Janine, and it's and freaking fantastic. Oh. I am now the greatest Sandman ever! I'm a... a Ghostbuster! Good night!
Kate Winston's and more. Unite yourself, Buster. Oh. I hear she actually does this in the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire movie, uh, which finally uh, Janine becomes a Ghostbuster again. That's the one coming out soon, I don't want to ask. It's already out at this point. Frozen Empire. Everyone's already forgotten about it at this point and we missed our window. <laughs> Frozen Empire. What was the first one? Uh, the that remakes. was Afterlife. There was remake of Ghostbusters. Just Ghostbusters. Uh, just with uh, Paul Rudd. answer the call. Oh no! I was talking about the Chick Ghostbusters from 2016. The, and then there was, there, was, a, there was before uh, that 2022, 21. But there was a there was a Ghostbusters it, Paul Rudd before. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Chick one. Yes. Oh, no, no, it's after reboot. the chick one. Oh, really? Chick reboot in the chick 2016, reboot, then, then Paul Rudd and uh, <laughs> Carrie Coon, who is... Paul Rudd's ooh. hilarious. I don't know why He's I like so him good. so much, but he makes me laugh when I just look at him. I agree. Some of the it projects goes, he signs it goes up back for to, uh, right. It goes back to... Uh, Clueless? No, it goes back to... Uh, the one forgetting Sarah Marshall, where he's the oh! surfboard guy. She's like, I forgot do more. he was do in less. that. Do oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot. Do less. You're doing too much. And he's like, and he just lays on the board. He's doing nothing. He's like, you're <laughs> do nothing. And he does nothing. He's like, you're not doing enough. I forgot he's <laughs> the in whole that. Whole thing makes me laugh. It's so time. good. I feel like that was. I, Although I think all of his stuff is funny. I just think he's in generally a funny look. He's, so he's such a, good, a likable he's guy. Yeah, he's he's so eternally likable. youthful. He's yeah. extremely likable. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, you go back to the Clueless movie where, like, that's the first time I heard about him. You know, I never watched him. It's pretty fantastic, although a bunch of people... Reese Witherspoon? Turn, no, no. Eh, close enough. Uh, Alicia Silverstone. Oh. Uh, her and Stacey Pre Dash. Pre-Reese Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon. That's who she was. That's to me. Okay, fair enough. That's, she that's was a weird way to say that. Reese Witherspoon without the five head. She does have a big forehead. I don't want to say that. <laughs> I Sorry, five Reese. Head. I... Uh, come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I feel bad saying that. No, she's, fan she's, she's fantastic. Like Alicia it. Silverstone's fantastic. They're like, both, that movie is actually awesome. very funny. Clueless. But... Her yeah, and yeah, her yeah. best friend, so Stacey old. Dash, both went kind of crazy, like for different reasons. And unfortunately, their third friend, I didn't even think about this, uh, died. We're going to insert Whoa. her name right now. <laughs> no, she was in the Eminem movie, actually. We were just talking about Eminem and the momentum earlier. Uh, uh, all the momentum and the, are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> this is all going to be cut out and it's so great. Um, no. Uh, we'll never know what hit him. Oh God, I forget her name, but she was pretty great. She died? She died Ooh. and the other two went crazy. She died? For real? It, for for real. Uh, she died in the game, so she died for real. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, don't think about that I one for too long. That. <laughs> We're in a game? Uh, <laughs> this ain't no game. So, uh, but Paul Rudd, eternally youthful and so likable. Uh, likeable. And yet likeable. I hear those, both those Ghostbusters reboot sequels are kind of okay uh, yeah i never i hate to say i never watched either one of them me, I was me neither i was excited to watch both of them because i was like i love my, uh, ghostbusters when i was yeah. a kid and then yeah. i went to go watch the those and i was like my kids weren't into it i can't go to the movies alone because i'm insecure so i can't go by myself <laughs> okay. i have to go with people <laughs> I just, I feel like I can't go alone. I need to go with people, but also have one seat in between us that's empty. Uh, it's a weird. It's true. Yeah. Um, what are we doing? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, good old memory. Ghostbusters. Dose. Two. Yeah. It they is. They were rebranded in the movie, their store. Oh, I didn't even Why notice this. Why wouldn't you do this? Why, but like, you, what store changes their name? <laughs> And their logo. Five years later, because they want to be at Walmart too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one got sued out of existence for fraud or something. I don't know. Apparently, they got stiff with uh, no no payment for yeah, their no Gozer yeah. uh, entrapment service, and uh, everyone thought they hallucinated the uh, uh, the Stay Stay Puff 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 yeah, yeah, man. No one saw that huge yeah. thing. They didn't care at all. Nah. All the people celebrating were. Uh, yeah. They were on mushrooms yeah. or well, some sort of yeah. something. They couldn't remember <laughs> later. I love this town! <laughs> I'm 
always trapped under marshmallows when I'm on mushrooms as well. So I, you can kind of see the, you can draw a straight line from A to B there. So now what are they doing? They're doing a bunch of yeah, let's kids' get back birthdays. To the movie here. <laughs> We're oh, gonna yeah, try. Yeah. Kids' birthdays. They're doing some kids' birthdays. I think that's stuff. good though. I think that shows like, hey, the Ghostbusters are low. No it's one cares anymore. Fun. They're just hiring them for their look. It's a good way to reset everything to where they have to like build up again. Exactly. Which is, um, which is honestly decently uh, screenwriting uh, 101 there. Hey, hey, I know. I know. Why don't we all sit down and we'll have fun? Yeah! You know, my dad says you guys are full of crap. Jason. Well, some gosh. people have trouble believing in the paranormal. No, he just says you guys are full of crap and that's why you went out of business. Um, but, uh, so Dana Barrett, uh, which. <laughs> uh, she is Sigourney Weaver, oh. uh, and oh, oh. she's. <laughs> I thought what? that was a real name. What even like, is, is a Dana a... Barrett? Yeah. What is? <laughs> she a wasn't Dana in this, was she? Uh, How is Dana Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> so Dana Barrett, uh, she goes to Egon first yep. because she oh, just oh, yeah, had yeah. this had a stroller, baby, emergency. stroller emergency. Yep, we're back yeah. on track now. Yeah. Um, See, usually I'm really focused and I stay on the point, so it's weird that I got distracted by everything that you said. Never known you to be on a point <laughs> about anything. I it's didn't part of your charm. You pick up on my sarcasm there. <laughs> well, I should hope so because you're laying it on pretty thick. <laughs> but anyway, so Dana Barrett and uh, Stroller ooze infects the stroller yes runs away you don't ever see her really catch it almost hits a bus it stops yeah. before it hits maybe the ooze wore off because it only ran over a little bit okay yeah but that's right that's right and she gets the baby back she gets freaked out about it which would be the right thing to do and she's paranormal Ooh, egon right yeah. choice right choice yep he's the smart one <laughs> Except for what he's doing right now. Uh, Egon is just testing uh, how mad people oh, yeah, can yeah. get for marriage counseling. That's <laughs> never going to happen. As Which I like that scene a lot. Where he's like, <laughs> sure I set him in there for 12 hours or whatever. <laughs> and this, I've my raised the temperature to 95 <laughs> degrees. My assistant just went in there to tell him it's going <laughs> to be another half hour. hour. <laughs> That's perfect. We kept them waiting for two and a half hours, and I've been gradually increasing the temperature in the room. It's up to 95 degrees at the moment. Now my assistant is asking them if they'd mind waiting another half hour. Oh, good. Very good. <laughs> That's such a good scene. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. So Egon says, uh, hey, well, I'll take it up with Ray. She says, please don't tell Peter Bing. Don't tell Bill Murray. Brings him in. Previous relationship. Yep. yep Probably yep. where the baby should have come from. Just in my opinion, I feel like it would have been a good connection to the movie, but yeah. maybe not. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't really fleshed out the entire idea. Maybe it was better to mm -hmm. have it just a random baby, but at the same time, I think if it was like a love child, it might have been like more important for the movie. Yeah. Not like